Hello guys, long time no see. I know it's been forever. I haven't done a vlog on uh, this channel, but my life has been kind of crazy recently. I had some family stuff to deal with, and after that, there were like a, a super big hot wave here in France, and it was like literally impossible to do much. So, grabbing the camera was not my priority at this moment i am sorry for that but here i am i got some people asking me about the studio vlog is that gonna be a new one you didn't like it and uh the answer is i do i did like it a lot and i got amazing feedbacks this is really circumstances that made me not vlog but i will and i won't but with the previous vlog i realized some mistakes that i did uh, for example that I've been filming too much uh, I was like filming from Monday to Sunday uh, so I ended up with like hundreds of hours of footage and the montage was taking me forever like the last vlog took me way way too long so I want to start fresh and maybe film on a uh, smaller days like maybe two or three days a week and keep the rest of the week for uh, the montage and not dying under uh, hours and hours of, of montage I know I wanted it to be perfect and dynamic and stuff and it's something that I really don't want to uh, stop doing because I still want to provide a good quality but filming less like less I, I thought that I had to do one thousand amazing things uh, in the week so it could be interesting and stuff but I am watching a lot a lot of studio vlogs and I can see more and more artists like uh, just sitting there a little bit in front of the camera and talk about a certain topic and I think it's very interesting because for me I think like the vlogs are also a way to learn they are uh, resources to see how a big Business as an artist can can work how is the daily life as an artist and many many other things so if you guys would like me to talk about something specific better be art or business uh, related like let me know I'll be happy to to take a moment to talk about it I know I'm doing that a lot on stream on Twitch and I love to do that to, to talk with people uh, sharing my experience but also listening to your own uh, experience where reading about your own experience I guess because it's through the chat but anyway so let me know and I am back with a new studio vlog I hope you guys are gonna enjoy it let's go <laughs> this is the current situation of my desk and something very big is arriving at the end of the week so I really have to make sure the desk is reordered so I think I'm gonna spend some time cleaning that this morning Si tu es perfectionniste et que tu veux vraiment un bon niveau pour commencer à montrer des choses tu ne vas jamais y arriver et puis parfois c'est justement le fait d'avoir quelques critiques constructives et des gens qui te disent ah oh, c'est joli mais tu devrais faire un petit peu plus comme ça par exemple pour ajuster des I don't know why I also motivated myself to clean this uh, part of my kitchen so <laughs> it looks very much better than uh, before it was very chaos and needed some some rearrangement so it looks better now but I didn't take it before because I'm a bad uh, youtuber but get the after Ooh.
September is right around the corner and it's probably even here when you'll see this video but I realized that I messed up all literally all of my August objectives and that is so sad like I don't know where, where did the months go actually um if what where, where did the, the past few months went and I think it's something that I'm not the only one uh, wondering I also ended up feeling very sick after Wednesday. I had some massive belly crumps and so I didn't pick up the camera. I managed to do a few things but I didn't vlog and I played a lot of Animal Crossing as you can see trying to, to recover because the end of the week is very busy. And it's here, oh my god, I got myself a new tablet after saving for so long. Let me introduce you my new Eon Canvas Pro 24 and you will see more about it. But I had to let the night go and take care of it on the other day. Guys, it's now Saturday. I had a complicated night because of the belly pain, but I am motivated today. A busy day. First, I'm going to IKEA, then, after, I'm gonna get lunch with my grandfather, and uh, after, I'm coming home because you know the tablet is here and I want to feel something like kind of a review but I'm really big you know at that so well that's gonna be my first review so I don't know if I'm gonna film it and I'm gonna to have to set up the uh, desk because I'm making some changes uh, and that's why I'm going to IKEA to buy a few little things but I'm taking you with me let's go Finally. I am back home. There were so many people in IKEA. You know, the freelance life is, is awesome about not going to places where people go on the weekends because you can go whenever you want in the week. Like you set up your own uh, schedule. So that I'm gonna show you real quick what I got in IKEA. That's nothing too exciting, but I think it will. It's gonna help me reorganize the desk and a few little things that I was missing. Uh, like for example, I got this uh, box for like it's supposed to, you're supposed to hide the cable in this, and it was very cheap, and I think it will look okay in case i have to put some cables because i really don't know how my desk is gonna look like after all the reorganization because of the the cables how long they're gonna be etc so i got this i got this and i got a lot of um of um like cables um, uh, <laughs> i don't really know how we call that in english but you know to get uh for the electricity you always need that for your computer so i decided to get more of this in case because i broke one uh no long time ago and this if you need to record for long distance but that is more like in case and i don't think that's gonna be lost it's very cheap and stuff 
Um, I got those little plates, but they're gonna go in the in the bathroom, so that is not for um, the desk. I got this little thingy for the phone because I always have my phone down on the on the desk, so maybe with this. Look fancy, you know. You, you put it on it, and it looks very uh, professional. So the thing I wanted to hide the cable was not there, so probably out of stock. But I still decided to get this. So I don't plan on getting uh, it on the on the on the wall or, or whatever. But I think those is like the 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 wrap thingy uh, will maybe help me to to get the cables together because this is. <laughs> literally cows over there so I'm really gonna take the opportunity for the new tablet for the new desk to um, reorganize things a little bit uh, cleaner but we'll see because I have no idea how I'm gonna set up and uh, the bigger thing is um, a lamp a lamp I wanted for some time because at night I feel like the desk is missing uh, some light uh, and also because I got the the bulbs uh, with the colors and it's really not bright so at night I like to have the colors for the ambience and I will put that for uh, the uh, lighting of the desk. Uh, you'll see I think it's kind of a, an average lamplight that everybody has but it's still cool. It was a great opportunity to have a look at the three different tablets I got over the years after I started to draw seriously. I'm not including all the bamboo fern and all the small tablet I had in the past. The Wacom Cintiq 13 HD I had back in 2016, my precious, a very good tablet, a little bit out to date today but made an amazing job for 4 years. The XP Pen Pro 22 that a lovely friend let me use for the past few months when my Wacom started to feel tired. I enjoyed the size and pen pressure quality but for the rest I didn't like that tablet at all. And now my new Eon Canvas Pro 24 that I'm excited to test. already and I'm not even half through it so I installed the arm <laughs> which is really cool but everything was heavy and and I look at my little arms what do you think I could do on my own but I did it um, I think I'm gonna follow the tutorial to to block it to lock it as a, a landscape mode because I think that is gonna annoy me if it's uh, tilted and I'm gonna all, all of my incoming drawings are gonna be tilted but um, it's very big like it's taking all of my desk and I'm gonna have to get used to it I'm probably gonna set up it as a third screen so I'm not gonna feel like it's taking everything but it's it's very massive and um, yeah, I will have to get used to it, but it's just installed, it's not recorded anything yet, so we still have so much to do. I'm taking a little break and uh, we're gonna jump back into it. 
All right, uh, we're back. <laughs> I debated to put the the tablet on the other side of the desk, but finally I decided to leave it here. It's linked. I had a lot of issues because the links were too short to go to my uh, PC, but it's uh, done now and working. So I had uh, to mess up with the with the, uh, the different screens, and I'm about to get this peel off and switch it on wow satisfying satisfying okay i i love that and i can't see myself in it if you guys are following my uh, Twitch uh, streams, you guys know how much I hated the previous tablet uh, not having an anti uh, reflection screen. This one has like a, I can't see myself in it. Thank you. <laughs> um, so to switch it on, I think it's something like this. Let's cross finger, it's working. Oh, hello. Okay, it's extremely um, dark, like if I compare to um, the other screens, but that's not an issue for now. Uh, I will explain you why later. Oh. The piece is like, what is this? What is this? So the resolution, it's in QHD, so it's higher than um, my screens. Um, but it doesn't look like it's 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 a problem. Um, okay, so the the mouse is going like the screen a good uh, setup. <sighs> and what's the next step? Am I supposed to test it? All right, I'm dead and I still have to clean the entire apartment, but the tablet is working. I made a little, little uh, setup, but that's really not uh, the final uh, one. I just wanted to, to see how it feels. And even if this feels like the screen has some kind of texture, uh, it's really different and it feels like the pen is like rolling on it. I mean, there is something annoying me, but it's not it's not fully set up and stuff i just wanted to open it to have a quick look uh, at it um, i don't have my shortcuts anything but i just feel like this just like like the screen doesn't have the same texture on the glass <laughs> so it's really disturbing and i don't think it's normal so maybe i have to to clean uh the screen uh i don't know uh we'll check that uh I think tomorrow for the final uh, setup. But the new tablet was not the only thing I got for myself. I decided to get a screen calibrator for not only my new tablet but also the two screens I've been using for years now. I think it was a good moment and a great opportunity to start fresh and new with a very good uh, screen quality. The setup was not hard to do, I just followed the instruction, like uh, this is a screen, very basic screen calibrator that I got. Uh, it was easy, I just waited and did the same thing for those three screens. So at the end you can see like uh, a before and after and it was very massive the difference. Mostly I had the feeling that the screens were much more darker like I had to feel like the the white was not white but I'm pretty sure this is better but this was hard to get used to I'm used to have the screen very bright 
and vibrant colors so i'll see how it feels uh in the next weeks and days even if i i believe it's it's for the best it's a very good upgrade And finally, I spent more time drawing. I had to know if I liked the texture of the screen or no. I started very, very unhappy with it, but I was like, okay, just, just, just try it. Maybe, maybe you will end up liking, or maybe the screen is going to change. And guess what? The screen texture and feeling changed. It was full of irregularities and very annoying to draw on like it was not smooth it was like sometimes it was getting suddenly uh very slow it was like the pen was hooked by the tablet like it was very weird but i got many people from the community on instagram and on and on a discord telling me that maybe i should try some more maybe it was the screen protect that lay, uh, let some some dust and uh, other dirt thing on the screen so i was like okay okay and i tried some more and to be honest yes it feels much better after a few hours of using it it's funny because like the center of the screen was full smooth so where i was drawing and in the corner there is still some areas that feels weird and not a very clean but other than that it was very great feeling now so it's not a glass uh, screen it's more like uh, a little bit more texture and paper feeling but i'm gonna talk more about that in my review a video that hopefully i'm gonna be able to finish and uh, i am super happy with the tablet at the end i'm gonna keep it and uh, i'm super happy thank you so much for all your support and i'm gonna end the vlog here thank you so much for watching you guys and i'll see you next time bye